How have you been? 不错 It's so good to see you. 谢谢 Hey, who's that? Oh, he's my friend, Grandpa Lu. He's an old veteran, and I'm going to keep a record of his stories and make his dream come true. Wow, sounds interesting. Coming in. So today our topic is Luke Convert Angel. An action plan to help all veterans in Taiwan realize their dreams. These are our contents. Every Chinese New Year, my family and I will visit Grandpa Lu in Zhongzhen Military Dependents Village in Taoyuan, who came to Taiwan with my grandpa in 1945. So I wonder if this kind of stereotype is my prejudice or has been common among teenagers. Therefore, we wonder if there are things that we high school students can do. To ease their pain of homesick and make their life more complete, and the concepts of our projects are also highly related to some of our subjects. All of its courses help us stay here, sharing with you today. In addition to the courses, we did our research through document analysis, survey, and interview. We used the questionnaire "Young People's Attitude Towards Old Veterans." To survey on 121 high school students and 82 adults. Also, we analyzed all kinds of literature to explore the background and history of old veterans in Taiwan. In the meantime, we also made an interview outline to consult one of the old veterans in Taoyuan, Lu Wenmin. Furthermore, we used one group pretest and posttest design to find out if our action plan could effectively motivate people to know more about veterans in Taiwan. Therefore, we invited all the participants to take posttests after our action plan. To understand more about old veterans in Taiwan, we did some literature review. The origin of veterans in Taiwan came from Chinese civil wars. Most of them evacuated in a hurry. Moreover. We divided the life developments of veterans in Taiwan into three stages. In conclusion, what these veterans have been through is important cultural assets and the roots of social and cultural diversity, making it more necessary for us to keep a record of these people who have contributed to this land, Taiwan. Let's move on to high school students' attitude towards old veterans. We divided young generation into two groups. High school students and young adults. We found that only 34.83 percent high school student have positive attitude. Only 39.16 percent young adult have positive attitude. In cognition dimension, there are almost 50 percent students holding positive attitude. However, the age gap and difficulties in communication between young people and veterans have led to their stereotype in veterans. Causing a lower positive percentage in affection and behavior dimension. All in all, adults hold a higher positive attitude than high school students, including cognition and affection dimension. In behavior dimension, adults hold a lower positive attitude than high school students. Based on a data analysis, we interview one of the old veterans, Lu Wenmin, to figure out old veterans' need. Grandpa said. I might die one day, but my stories and my dreams never. We found that most of the young generation lack understanding of the veterans. Therefore, in order to increase young people's attitude towards old veterans, we would like to make our own action plans, including Instagram program and course card. We name it "Always Remember" and "Never Forget." Our IG program is made from Grandpa Lu's stories. There are altogether six episodes and thirteen posts. Through a street view on Google Earth, we've made some quote cards based on the events of veteran stories. To understand the effects of our action plan, we invited all the participants to take past tests to realize their change in their attitude toward all veterans. And we found three dimensions of high school students as well as adults' overall positive attitude or increases, proving that our plan does work. After we send our videos, posts, and course card we made to Grandpa Lu, he was moved to tears and asked his daughter to send an email back to us. Wow! I'm so glad we did it. So, in conclusion, first, all veterans are signs of the times. They've been through joy and sorrow, separation and reunion all their life. Last but not least. What all veterans are eager most is to gain the understanding and respect from young generation. Our action plan making good use of technology 
could effectively help all veterans look back on their life and realize their dreams. Based on conclusions we've made, we have following suggestions. First of all, high school students who build a veteran caring team to deeply understand their needs and the characteristics. Through these practical actions, we could break the stereotype in all veterans. Moreover, young generation could make good use of technology. Lastly, young generation should play their part in promoting world peace and avoid all kinds of wars which might lead to tragedies of the times. From the stories and tears of Grandpa, I could see his sense of satisfaction and belongings. And uh, yeah, I feel so proud of us. We finally made his dream come true. I will never forget these brave warriors that they fight, they survive, and they always keep their dreams alive. Thank, Thank you. you.